Hello, welcome to RT Today, where we bring you Middletown High School's announcements from the week ahead and our wrap up of what happened in the news last week and more. I'm Jacob Holcomb. This week's show is brought to you by Middletown Sportsland Incorporated, the place to find all your sports needs. Located on 108 West Main Street in downtown Middletown. Let's go to Patrick Velez with a look back in This Week in History. In This Week in History, on October 19th, 1973, President Nixon refused to hand over Watergate-related tapes to Special Prosecutor Archibald Cox, but said he would prepare a summary of their contents. It is believed in many circles that if the Special Prosecutor refused the summary, President Nixon would fire him. That's your look at This Week in History. Now let's hear about this week's birthdays from Jack Schmiel. Happy birthday this week to Shirley Gonzalez, Gabriel Kobelson, Nelson Poole, Nora Rothermel, Liam Heaton, Bella Keel, Jared Malone, Hunter Freeman, Aiden Waters, Jack Everly, Cora Heck, Sarah Raleigh, Gage Kirkwood, Ryan Wood, Lily Miller, Sarah Treadwell, Alexa Mejia, Ensley Satterfield, Cy Ayers, Lucas Fink, Ezekiel Abondo, Hunter Miss, Clara Stamper, and Catherine Stamper. Let's go to Spencer Mosett with this week's announcements. The SGA is hosting a virtual spirit week on the week of October 26. Monday, October 26 will be Music Recommendation Monday. Tuesday, October 27th will be the At Home Baking Contest. Wednesday, October 28th will be Get Outside Hiking and Scenic Challenge. Thursday, October 29th will be MHS Trivia Thursday. And Friday, October 30th will be Scary Movie Friday. More details to come next week. Any students interested in joining the Middletown High wrestling team should contact Coach Shartner at james.shartner at fcps.org. Attention juniors and seniors, the following colleges will be conducting virtual visits to MHS soon. Exact dates are Tuesday, October 20th, Hagerstown Community College and Radford University. Wednesday, October 21st, Seton Hill University, Towson University, and Bridgewater College. Thursday, October 22nd, Centenary University and the University of South Carolina. Friday, October 23rd, Cutstown University of Pennsylvania. Monday, October 26th, Elms College and Stevenson University. Sign up is available to current seniors and juniors in your Naviance account. Click the Colleges tab in the top right, click Research Colleges, and click College Visits. Freshmen and sophomores, check out the FCC Early College Associates degree information on Tuesday, October 20th. Graduates of an early college at FCC will earn an associate's degree and high school diploma simultaneously by attending FCC full-time during their junior and senior years. During this virtual presentation, members of the dual enrollment team will go through the details of the early college program and acceptance process, as well as answer questions from interested students and families. Check with Ms. Bertolitis or your counselor for more information. A U.S. Marine Corps virtual open house and career day will be held Friday, October 23rd from 1 to 3.45 p.m. Find out by paying for college using a Naval Reserve Officer Training Corps scholarship. If you're a musician, get more information about USMC Musician Enlistment Option Program. Check with Ms. Bertolitis for more information. Attention juniors, interested in science or math? Here's an internship for you. Now accepting application for these prestigious science internships. New this year, both NCI and USA MRIID applications will be one application and it's all online. Applications are open from October 14th to December 13th. There will be an informational meeting on Thursday, October 29th at 2 p.m. Please email Ms. Gibson if you plan to attend or if you have any questions at elisa.gibson at fcps.org. Thanks, Spencer. Now let's find out what's happening in the rest of the world. Here's Luke McGlister. Senate Judiciary hearings for Supreme Court nominee Judge Amy Coney Barrett began on Monday. These hearings included challenging questions from Vice Presidential Candidate Kamala Harris, who serves on the committee as a Senator from California. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell continues to be on track, pushing for confirmation of Judge Barrett as soon as reasonably possible. President Donald Trump has resumed his in-person rallies with doctor's approval. President Trump has also added more in-person rallies and events in these final weeks before Election Day. He plans to have two to three events per day. A private security guard is in custody after firing a fatal shot in downtown Denver. Before the shooting, there was a Demonstrators Patriots rally and an organization called BLM Antifa Soup Drive happening in the area. 
It is reported that the man opened fire a mace-like substance on the other man who then opened fire. The man who was shot was taken to a hospital and later pronounced dead. Up next, Baron Rob tells us what's been happening in the world of arts, entertainment, and celebrity. Apple has come out with the iPhone 12 and the iPhone mini. The release date for the iPhone 12 is set for October 23rd. The iPhone 12 mini will not be available to pre-order until November 6th. The iPhone 12 will not be out until November 13th. For the first time in 15 years, Stevie Wonder released two new songs during a press conference on October 13th. Along with the songs, he also announced he was leaving Motown Records after almost 60 years. He said, quote, even though I've left Motown, I never leave Motown, unquote. He expects to produce not only the two new songs, but a new solo album as well, titled Through the Eyes of Wonder. Starting last Wednesday, Dunkin' Donuts released a new spicy ghost pepper donut. The donut is made with strawberry icing mixed with cayenne and ghost peppers. Dunkin' Donuts vice president said that the donuts are a touch of heat with something sweet. Let's go to sports, where Mallory Beck catches us up with what's happening on and off the field. On Sunday, October 11th, Washington quarterback Alex Smith made his comeback to the football field after suffering a serious leg injury in November 2018. It had been 693 days since Smith's injury. Smith came into the game after starter Kyle Allen was sidelined for an arm injury in the second quarter versus the Rams. From that point, Smith finished the game. Washington will return to Allen as long as he is healthy for their next game against the Giants. Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott's season is expected to be over after he suffered a compound right ankle fracture and dislocation during the Cowboys' Week 5 game against the Giants. As Prescott scrambled in the third quarter, his right ankle was caught awkwardly underneath him, shifting his lower leg and ankle area at an unnatural angle. Andy Dalton took over as the Dallas quarterback after Prescott was carted off the field in an air cast with tears on his face. Prescott's chances of returning this season would likely depend on his injury not being a fracture. After the NBA shut down on March 11th, the coaches and teams quarantined in a bubble in order to be able to play their season, which came to its end last week with the Lakers winning their record-setting 17th championship. The Lakers beat the Miami Heat 4-2 in their series. The Lakers' LeBron James was recognized for being the only player in history named MVP in the league finals while playing for three different teams. He now has four championships with three different teams over his career. In the finals, James averaged 29.8 points, 8.5 assists, and 11.8 rebounds. Thanks, Mallory. Finally, Sean Velez shares with us some words of wisdom. We all know that's important to take care of our bodies, but it's not always easy. A soft drink may taste better than a bottle of water, but we know which one is the healthier choice. It can also take a lot of self-discipline to make that choice. Also, choosing to exercise can take the courage. Some of us are afraid of how others might judge us as we lift weights or jog through the park. Shakespeare, a 16th century poet, wrote, Our bodies are our gardens, to which our wills are gardeners. It can take a strong will, courage, and self-discipline to say no to food and drinks that are unhealthy for you and to make the choice to exercise. But when you choose fruit over a chocolate bar, when you choose exercise over watching TV, you are growing not only a stronger body, but also a stronger character. Make it a great day, or not. The choice is yours.